Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Ben, and in this video, I'm gonna show you four ways to find recruiting clients by using candidates. All right, guys, thanks so much for checking out another YouTube video. If you're not in my Facebook group, Six Figure Recruiters, link in description, please do join. We have over 7,000 entrepreneurs. You can engage and interact and chat with me. I'm in there all day long. Link in description once again, and let's jump right into the video. So while there are many ways to find clients, one way of finding your clients is by identifying them through candidate bait. Now, this is essentially where you utilize a candidate first to find your clients. Clients really, really want candidates and they really, really like when you can have them like that. Therefore, when you can use candidates to actually obtain your clients, it's all the better. There are some secrets some tips and tricks I'm gonna give you right now after you smash that blue like button and I'm gonna jump into my computer and screen share with you. All right, guys, so we're right inside my computer and I'm gonna show you the first way to gain clients by utilizing candidates. In this case, the first method I'm gonna show you is called the attraction resume. So what is the attraction resume, right? It's a fictitious resume of a person that does not exist. I actually created this resume. So I set this resume up, Eric Johnson, project manager IT, Chicago, Illinois. Um, yes, my email is still on here because I can't edit it because it's my Indeed account. But long story short, I built out a really, really nice IT project management experience um, um, resume. Um, and essentially how this goes is what happens is when you upload a, a resume to Indeed, to Monster or Career Builder, um, clients really, really surf those sites to find people um, if they're not using a recruiter um, in the first place. Or if internal recruiters are utilizing those sites to find people, they're going to find resumes like this. Like this person has experience at General Dynamics. They were a senior IT consultant at Cisco. They worked at Amazon, yada, yada. The, the resume looks gold. So bottom line is what happens here is clients, prospective clients, reach out to you connect with you on the email that you put, you would create a fictitious email, an email that you would utilize only for this purpose. And when a client lead comes in and they say, Hey, Eric, uh, we'd love to chat with you. We'd love to connect about, um, you know, a position that we have available immediately. You would respond and let that client know that you are representing Eric Johnson. And second, beyond that, you would let them know that Eric Johnson has actually taken another offer and he's off the market. And essentially where that leaves you is you and the client right there, ready to sign terms on finding someone just like Eric Johnson. Does that make sense? So the purpose of this is basically to attract clientele, attract prospective clients. So that's why I call it the attraction resume. All right. So this second method of finding clients by using candidates is pretty straightforward and simple. You would go to indeed.com or we could utilize LinkedIn as well, which is totally fine. Um, and what we want to do is really find jobs. So I'm going to look for something very similar. Let's stick with the IT project manager role, right? Um, I'm going to use, you know, let's just go to Dallas. I'll use that. And we're going to find jobs. Let's just find something. Okay. Aperia Solutions. It looks like a SaaS company. Um, this is a new job posted, which is really awesome. Urgently hiring. That's great. Really easy process from here. Once we've identified this position and the job description, and we know it inside and out, we simply go to Indeed Resume Finder, Career Builder. We go to monster.com, wherever we can search for resumes and find resumes or LinkedIn if you want to headhunt this, right? And essentially go look for candidates that would be viable for this particular role. A really easy way to do it would be Indeed Resume Finder, which are active candidates. Find those candidates. Now you're not going to actually ping the candidate themselves. Here's what you're gonna do instead. You're going to take their resume, summarize it, create a summary, um, basic template summary, and you're gonna send it to a decision maker at Aperia Solutions. What is this doing, right? This is creating a deal out of thin air for you. Literally, the candidate 
is active, but they don't know someone is working on their behalf with Aperia Solutions to try to get them a position. So you're going to find the best candidate you can find on Indeed Resume Finder or on Monster, and you're going to summarize their resume. Of course, leaving their name off and leaving all their personal information off so that the client can obviously not contact them, but you summarize that resume into a bullet point, concise, summary of who they are and what their accomplishments are. And you essentially send that all to a decision maker at Aperia Solutions. And if you're wondering how we find that, really, really simple. If we go into Sales Navigator, um, immediately we're going to go and look up Aperia Solutions. We're going to look at accounts to find the company. Um, and we see that here they are in Dallas. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually click on their company and then I'm going to go to decision makers. And right away, I'm going to find the chief technology officer. Um, so does anybody think that Andrew Sisson has nothing to do with actually hiring uh, for that IT role right here? Of course they do. Um, they absolutely have a say in that. So definitely that's the person that we're going to be talking to. We're going to reach out to Andrew. We're going to find his email using Lead Leaper. We're going to use all the tools at our disposal to connect this this candidate to the company. And as soon as we do, we're going to be able to reach out to the actual candidate uh, that we've been using their summary resume of, which is totally fair game because they're an active candidate that has posted their resume. And with that being said, we're going to literally create a deal out of thin air. So let's go through the third method on how to find a recruiting client by using a candidate. So oftentimes in your outreach, we've all come across people that say, hey, I'm actually not hiring, but I'm actually looking for a position. And you're a recruiter, so you can work it both ways. Ways, right? So it's kind of like making money when the stock market goes up, stock market goes down. Same deal. We can find a job for somebody, whether we have the client or the candidate, we can do it both ways. Oftentimes, it's so much easier to find a lot of clients first. Jumping right into this, it's really simple. Once you run into one of those individuals, let's say you're chatting with Jim and he's a supply chain manager for a large corporation, but he wants to make a move and he's looking for a little bit more money and he wants to possibly move across the country or something like that. Simple as pie, you ask him exactly for 10 companies that he would like to work at specific 10 companies. What benefit does it give us to ask for 10 specific companies from the candidate that's looking for a new role? So we know exactly what 10 companies they want to work for. So if one of them is Starbucks, we're going to type in Starbucks, right? And we're simply going to use the account results on Starbucks to go straight to the company. And immediately I'm going to click on the Starbucks account lead and I'm going to go right to decision makers. Obviously it's a very large company, but if Jim has a very specific, you know, skill set, maybe he's in IT, maybe he's in marketing, maybe he's in whatever, I can utilize all of my filters and I can use utilize whatever I need to utilize to find the decision maker that would hire him, right? All I have to do is take a summary of his actual resume. Um, super easy. So this is um, like, hi, Jeremy, right? I want to introduce you to my candidate, yada, yada, yada. Um, and this is, this specifically is a uh, construction project management summary, but this is really what it looks like, right? It's very, very basic, has your signature at the bottom, highlights all of the top level things that the candidate has actually done um, right in here. So they really get excited. This hiring manager really gets excited um, about this opportunity. And when you have that, you send that over to you know, Ray Silverstein, and all of a sudden he's hyped up about your candidate and he wants to talk. Well, hey, Ray, it's 20% to bring Jim on. So we need to sign terms, buddy. So that's the third method on using a candidate to bait your client. So let's talk about the fourth method on how you can use a candidate to actually get to your clients. So a resume tells a lot about a candidate, right? But sometimes it tells a little bit too much more than we even need to know about the candidate, but oftentimes a lot about what we want to know about their previous work experience and particularly their experience working under certain managers and their information as well. Now, I'm going to give you a really, really simple example, right? Aaron Matthews, a resume right here with all of his work experience, etc. We have everything, yada, yada, yada. At the bottom, there's information that is critical to me, right? I have right here two 
references that I can utilize. Tyrone, I can grab this number. Spencer, I can grab this number. And I can literally call these individuals, check them out, find out who they, you know, who they are um, on LinkedIn. I can check out who they work for. Um, I, you know, and I have their direct numbers. That's gold information. So that's pretty cool right there. We get some information right off of the top, but let me show you something that's even better than that. I want to show you a literal business development example of a resume. Now this is pretty intense. We can go right in here and find out every single supervisor, their name, number, who they are, what company they ran, uh, who they who they were working for, um, and I can literally go and contact every single one of his supervisors um, and just call them up and say, Hey, Mike, um, I understand you worked at General Dynamics and you know, yada, yada. Are you still there? Um, okay. I wanted to talk to you about whatever, you know, hiring. Right. Um, and so this is another supervisor um, and another supervisor. I think there's literally 10 supervisors on here. So uh, you know, you can just go through and through and through. Um, and he says right on the resume, it's okay to contact the supervisor. So literally this resume serves as a business development sheet. Like uh, you, you would pay someone to go, you know, qualify this information for you, but this person's giving it to you straight up off the bat. Um, so they're giving you everything. And then on top of it, at the bottom, there's even more res, uh, I'm sorry, references right there for you to utilize. So that's the fourth method of finding clients through using your candidates. Uh, I'm going to pop out and I'm going to see you on the other side. All right, guys. So those are the four methods that you can use to actually utilize candidates as bait or attraction to get clients in recruiting. So just to recap, the first method is the attraction resume that you post on a resume site like Indeed, Monster, to get clients at your front door coming at you. The second method is where you go and find 10 actual positions posted on Indeed or LinkedIn, and then you go to Resume Finder or elsewhere where resumes are posted and you find qualified candidates and you essentially try to make the match by utilizing a summary of that person's resume with everything redacted. Send that resume over to the prospective decision-making client and see if they want to bite. If they want to bite, automatically you connect with that real candidate and you make a match. And that third method is where you find a job seeker, a really top tier qualified candidate that's looking to make a move. You ask them that one simple question, what are the 10 top places that you would like to make a move and work at? You find those 10 companies on LinkedIn, um, Sales Navigator, find decision makers there, send over that summary resume again and see if they bite. If they do, boom, sign terms, get the candidate in their door and you've got a deal again out of thin air. And last but not least, the fourth method on using a candidate to find a client is literally just harvesting information off of their resume. So as I showed you in the video on screen, you can literally look down the resume and entirely see tons and tons of details that you may have skipped over all of this time. You can find managers' names, phone numbers, emails, all kinds of information. And if everything else fails, you can simply look at the places that they've previously worked and use those companies uh, as companies that you would target because maybe you're hiring them for a very similar role at a similar type company. And so you're likely to be able to find candidates for the previous companies that they've actually worked for. So that's a wrap guys. If you enjoy this video, please smash that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, hit that alert button so you know every single time I come out with a brand new video. Until then.